You guys, welcome back to another Ben McGreevy sports video. Today is a different video than we're used to because we're not going to an NHL game, but an ECHL game. Yep, that's right. We're in the Atlanta area and we are headed to an Atlanta Gladiators game. I've never been to an ECHL game before. I've actually never been to an AHL game. I've been to like some club hockey games, high school games, things like that. So for me tonight, I'm getting to experience a different world of hockey that I've never experienced before. And for that, I'm excited. I know that it's gonna be very different than the NHL. I know it's gonna be a lot slower, not as crisp, things like that. I know the atmosphere is gonna be different. But what I'm excited for is to just experience people loving hockey in a place that doesn't have an NHL team yet. They might get one soon again uh, for round three, who knows. But my buddy Brad is joining me in just a few minutes and we're gonna head down to the Atlanta Gladiators Arena to check out a Friday night ECHL game. You want a secret? I'm taking you right along with me. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We have arrived. We're about to pull into the arena. Look at this, it's exciting. Look, we found Brad. What's up? <laughs> let's go. They have a great parking lot here. And then you come over here to the arena. This gives me a big time like Florida Panthers set up vibes, which for all the Florida fans that follow, uh, I love it, it's a good setup. Look at this, beautiful building, here we go. Look at this. Brad, I am so like pleased with how nice this is. Like this is nicer than so many NHL rinks that I've been to, it's amazing. Dude, this is, this is awesome. This makes me so happy. It always feels good to see a rink. We're about to get warm ups underway here in Atlanta. Yes, I'm so impressed right now with this. This is a Preds Winter Classic looking jerseys out here. Looking nice against Jacksonville. Here we go. As the slogan says, draw your sword. It's time to fight. I've just been like, like obviously it's not going to be a huge number of people here tonight. I want to think. This building holds 11,000, by the way. It's amazing, like, how nice of a place this is. I mean, like, this reminds me a lot of Arizona in a lot of ways. Like, not even their current arena, like, what Gala River Arena was, uh, just like on the inside, like similar seats, um, like obviously that building was nicer, but this one feels awesome too. And it feels really homey, which I love. We got some Preds fans here, let's go. I feel kind of bad for not wearing my Preds jersey now. We have uh, a Zamboni cutting the ice right now. Interesting thing, the posts are blue. We'll sh I'll show you more of that in a little bit. All right, we're, we're feeling good. We're feeling good. Game's getting close to starting. Remember I mentioned the blue pipes? Oh, uh, well, lights are out now. That's exciting. Whoa, those are like old school goal lights and it makes me so happy. I need you to know that I'm thrilled. Hope was my definition of success. I love the, I love the lights. That's awesome. Let's go! Woo! I love the powder blue. I really do. Man, it feels good to be at a hockey game. Jacksonville scores, ugly goal for the Atlanta goalie to let in. Atlanta down one nothing. They've outscored opponents until tonight, up till tonight, 24 to nine through four games. Here we go. <laughs> shoot it, shoot oh, it! You're there, oh, oh my. Nifty move there down low. Oh, Gladiators tied up, uh oh. He's got a slow man here on a break. What can he do? Nothing. He loses control and almost goes to space first into the boards. 
Oh man, it would have been awesome. Yeah, he was, he was unfortunately too slow there to get away, you know? A little saucy sauce for a one-timey gladiator score again, two to one. We are rolling right now. Let's go, baby. Still two to two, three minutes left in the first. Jacksonville ice the puck. We're gonna have another face off coming this way. So we are at the first intermission game tattoo. It's been good. It's been a good one so far. I'm just so impressed by the arena all the way around. Like lots of stuff that's just here and available. I'm gonna see if they have a hot dog or a pretzel somewhere. And maybe a drink. I definitely see a pretzel thing, but you guys know what I want. I want a cinnamon sugar pretzel. Do we see them? Let's see. So far, not yet. We're gonna keep looking. It's like they're Coke products here, so that's good news too. So I guess there is one big difference about this and like other rinks is like, outside of like their concessions that we've just were at, which is right outside the section that we're sitting, like there's nothing, right? So, um, but that makes sense based on the people who are here it doesn't make sense to have a whole lot of other things here. So yeah, it's very quiet over here. I'm doing my kind of customary intermission lap. I normally do one lap at intermission and I'm doing that right now. And it's just like, there's no one over here. I met, oh, that's kind of cool. Look at that. Um, which is interesting. I will say the Serena holds 11,000 people and it looks like they have the facilities where they could host an NHL team briefly if they needed to. You know, you just set up some food stands here and things like that. It's pretty awesome. I've been very impressed with the fans here, just in general. You can tell they love their team and they know the players, they get excited. It's just kind of a neat atmosphere, really, in a lot of ways. This is over by the main gates where we walked in earlier and it looks like there's a few other things. Dippin' Dots over here. Probably not gonna go Dippin' Dots tonight. But that is always nice to have that as an option if you want it. It's kind of expensive. This has like different styles of food over here, which is awesome. Pretty cool all the way around. They have a homemade pizza slices. That's where you can also get pretzels. Hmm, let's let's see what we're we'll see what we're getting here. They also have like little stations where they have like bottled drinks of like Coke and stuff like that. So maybe that's an option. We'll see. It legit looks like they have some good stuff in there. Maybe one day I'll uh I'll get me a gladiator shirt, who knows? Yep, we're gonna get a Bark root beer. I'm sorry, Bark root beer. So good, oh, underrated for sure. Interesting thing, they have two Zambonis running right now. They only had one after warm-ups. So it's like the other driver showed up or something. So, amazing thing is that, like the atmosphere's actually been pretty good. Like, we're seven minutes to go in the intermission. But the Zamboni driver is getting people hyped, like it's awesome. Alright, so when the lights go out, everyone turns on their flashlights. That is a cool tradition, I'm telling you, like... Let's go. I'm gonna join. Goodbye, camera. Gladiators on a power play here. Gladiators! Three to two on the power play. Here we go. But, uh, very reminiscent of old Preds right there. Jacksonville's about to have a power play here to try to get within, uh, try to get with back into the game tied. I don't know why I can't speak. The Atlanta goaltender just made some great saves here. All right, so there's a different goaltender in because the other guy was having equipment issues. And, uh, you don't want to have to immediately come in and kill off a penalty. So well, well done play. Nice, nice job. That should kill it off. And we have a tie hockey game. Those in the final minute hurt really bad. Oh, All right, we've got a tie game at the end of the second. Third should be good. All right, fine, we just got a normal soft pretzel. We'll see how it is. I'm not expecting a lot, not just because like, it's not Auntie Anne's or Wetzel's pretzels or like super exotic. So we'll see. I might have wish I have Brad's go with Dippin' Dots. I might wish I have. All right, review on the pretzel, not the best, but hey, we got a pretzel, and now we've got a 3-3 hockey game going to the third here in Atlanta, Georgia. Technically Duluth, but you know, it is what it is. Let's go. We got three, two, one, we're back. Let's go, baby. Third period. Underway in the third, here we go. Gladiators looking to, to get the dub. Undefeated on the year so far. Hopefully we don't see a defeat. And I just said that. That's a terrible <laughs> thing to say. Yikes. Oh. 
Clapper with a rebound. Here we go. Are we in Colorado right now? What's happening? That's on. Carry me home. Let's go! They make it four to three on a side! We got 257 left. This crowd has been awesome. And it might not be a full house, but the atmosphere has been great from these Atlanta fans. Lots of little cheers, chants, things like that. Um, so we'll see. Atlanta has a one goal lead. Uh, with about 2.50 left in the game. So we'll see here. I think Jacksonville's probably about to pull the net minder. All right, we have an empty net with blue pipes. Jacksonville, six guys out there. Almost, uh-oh, here we go. Oh, great defensive play. 24 seconds, here we go. Okay, we are in the car after the game, and let me tell you, that was an awesome experience. Like I mentioned, that was my first non-NHL experience. So really, it was my first time seeing players that weren't of the elite level. And you definitely felt that at points. The passing was a little bit sloppy, speed wasn't there at points, and just overall, you felt kind of like the minds were a little bit slower. Not that, I mean, they're still incredibly good hockey players, don't get me wrong, but I was just, I loved it. It was it was hockey and almost like a, almost a little bit of a pure form. And the sense of it was almost like, those guys are there because they love the game and they love playing it. And uh, they're not doing it for the big bucks. They're doing it to just love the sport. And people who are there, yeah, it's an event to go to, but also there's some Gladiators fans there that you could tell just love that team and were so into it. And I wish I could have gotten more of it. They had chants. They were just really cool all the way around. And really, genuinely, just a really neat experience at the Atlanta Gladiators game. I'll use the end of this video to kind of break a little bit of news uh, that is actually pretty old. Back in February, uh, I actually moved to Atlanta. So you probably noticed in February, of 2023, the content at Predators games started to become a little bit less frequent. And it's because we moved, and so I'm not getting to go to games as much anymore. Um, it doesn't mean that I don't watch games. It doesn't mean that I'm not heavily invested. It just means that for me to go to a game, it's a four hour drive, which can sometimes be pretty difficult. It's obviously been a huge life change for us. It, we moved away from family, we moved away from where both of us were born, and we moved to a big city. If you watch some of my videos, you probably know this. If you watch some of my travel videos, if you don't have a travel channel, I have a travel channel as well. If you watch this stuff, then uh, you, you probably know that my faith is very important to me. So much so that that's what I do for a living. Uh, my living is I work in a church setting. And we felt that a church here in Beaufort, Georgia was a good fit for us. And so we made the move to Beaufort, Georgia. I still love hockey passionately. I'm still gonna cover it for this channel as much as possible. And whenever I get the chance to go to games, we're gonna try to make as many videos as possible at each game. So be sure to leave in the comments videos you would love to see at a game. That way, whenever we go, we can kind of know what content to make. And we'll continue trying to go to road games to bring the content coming in. Hey, if you enjoyed the Gladiators game tonight, we will make more Atlanta Gladiators vlogs. We'll go to more Gladiators games. That was an amazing experience. I loved it, and I'm already planning my next journey to an Atlanta Gladiators game, which frankly is a 20 minute drive down the road for me, so that's very easy. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It always means a ton. There's something really special about getting to make a video knowing that you guys are watching it. So thank you so much for watching it. I know this is a longer outro than normal, but we have more videos coming your way hopefully in the very near future. We will see you next video.